This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, T.I. finally poked his head in the wrong battle. Now, he does this often, poking his head in other people's business. And this is what he did with King Von. Now, now he's backtracking because he's getting warnings from OTF dudes. 50 Cent checked them. I mean, he's out of line. Okay, so what happened between Quan, uh, with King Von and Quando Rondo is horrible you know we don't want that to happen okay uh we don't know why two guys that were friends got to that point a lot of people were assuming a lot of things you know asian doll did a song with nba young boy and quando rondo's affiliated with it i don't know you know it's just some weird stuff now king bond was on his way to being great and ti had to say hey Guys, don't come to our city with that nonsense, okay? Go do it in your own city. Quando Rondo's from Georgia, and uh, King Von's from Chicago, okay? Now, T.I. got a response quickly from an OTF guy that said T.I.'s about to get himself hurt, okay? That was a warning, okay? Then um, you had someone, uh, his sister. She's she. Uh, they say it's his sister. I don't know who she is, okay? Her name's Kayla B. She says, uh, the energy is always putting people in business where they need to be the same. He need to make it right. Wait, what did he say? What did she say? Let me read it right. Uh, he need to make it right. Here it is. I don't speak. Oh, no, that's him backtracking. <laughs> There's so many people writing so many things. To do. Uh, and these are facts. Um, but the energy... Uh, always putting people in people's business need the same energy he need to make it right with his daughter now where's my brother 50 cent get on him 50 cent jumped on it right away you know 50 cent is loves a little <laughs> little turmoil so 50 cent reposted what she said and then he said hey ti you gotta chill out you're bugging saying anything they got casualties. This is real. I don't know what she was thinking, but rethink it now. They are hurting. They love that boy. He was on. Uh, he was a way out. I bet you don't even realize they will take you out for what you just said. What hood you from again? Come on now. It's quiet time. Wow. So T.I., there's this thing where he's not from Bankhead. I mean, we know that, okay? He probably isn't. He's probably from up the street from Bankhead or something. Shorty Lowe exposed that a long time ago. Nobody wanted to hear it, right? I like T.I. I love his music. But he be capping a lot. He be he be telling... He be ex Some of the stuff he does is really real. And I respect him for that. But some of the stuff he does is just lame. You know, we know that. You know, I, I like T.I. He's one of my favorite artists. I just wish he didn't do so much stuff like this, man. Um, even Shorty Lowe said that was one of his favorite artists at one time, you know? He says, I respect certain things about this guy, but the guy tried to help, to hold me back, you know? And I've I seen it. I've seen it happening, you know? Um, anyways, T.I. rethought what he said because 50 Cent got on him. And he said, um, I don't speak ill of my allies. My last post had nothing to do with King Von. It conveniently came a day after that, okay? Y'all grossly mistaken. I have no motive or, for, or intention to do harm or malice to cats I'm cool with. What are you talking about? My family hearts go out to them. Do, do anything malice or harm them? Dude, you came right at them. And he said, I've expressed this to people in his life that matter the most in the situation. That's all I'm concerned with. Uh, but I know IG ain't the place for understanding and miserable people to keep up. Let's be, everyone in the comments below it, read it. Cap, cap, cap. Liar, 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 liar. He had to put, he had to insert himself in this. Okay, so he should just say, "Hey, I was out of out of pocket." Right? He was. Waka Flocka reposted Ti message. Handle your business in city, and then someone wrote, uh, "Somebody tell." Somebody, wait, wait, let me read the whole thing. Somebody tell T.I. If you was a street dude like you claim to be, you would know it and, and, and know when and where and why uh, on a beef, I don't know. Basically, you would know to stay out of this. This is beyond you. Waka Flocka uh, had this message to say. Never talk down on people. 
when you once was the person that you talked down, I don't get what the scenario is. Ever. And I'm talking about guys that come from the streets. Not that say they did. Bro, I don't care how far I get in life, bro. I would never look down on anybody in the streets or anything they ever do in the streets because I understand the laws and lifestyle that come with it. And when you understand, yeah, a lot of things you're not supposed to talk about. Me. You're not. I'm just saying. And I, some people call it ain't growth, it ain't this. You know what they signed up for. I don't know how to put this. He's right. He's, Waka Flocka's is right, man. He posted that. And he's right. T.I., Maybe T.I. is just too far removed. I mean, it's been like 20 years. He's been rich for like 20 years. I don't I don't know what it is. But this is why G this is why Jeezy's music feels realer than T.I.'s music. That goes right back to the verses. This is why Jeezy's music feels realer than T.I.'s music. And this is why in a verses, Jeezy's gonna win. His music touches. I don't care if you're what color you are. You can feel what he's speaking is real. Just like when Core Mega is, is rapping. I, you guys might not remember Core Mega. Core Mega, when you listen to his stuff, you could tell he really did that stuff. Certain rappers, you can tell when they did it and they're just talking about stories they heard, you know? So anyways, I like T.I. a lot. I like his music and everything, but I'm just... It's just like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> you be doing too much, man. Like, I bet you still has got a closet full of Gucci. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anyways, this will pass like everything else. <laughs> and it'll be just be another thing on the bulletin board for TI. Now he's going to now he's gonna put up, a, you know, a thing for King Von. Watch. Uh, French Montana has a new song out with uh, uh, Benny the Butcher. Now, a little late to the party, <laughs> okay? A little late to the party, but he's here, okay? Uh, everybody's been putting Benny the Butcher and Conway and everything because, you know, they're the new guys uh, spitting that that real music, you know? And it's much needed. But, you know, French Montana follows those trends. I had to point that out. But I am happy that he did a song with... Uh, Benny the Butcher, because they're needed in hip hop. Okay, so and yeah, I just had to point that out just to be a little petty, but you know, it's good. You know, and, and it's a good. It sounds like a good song. Great production. Go check it out. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I appreciate you guys. Stay consistent today. Keep bad energy out of your life. Okay, <laughs> seriously. Okay, it's not worth it. Okay, any any amount of energy you spend on something that's just not, like getting into an argument with your neighbor and stuff. I avoid that stuff all the time. My neighbors make me like they're just annoying, man, you know, but I live in HOA and it sucks. OK, but uh, they're not worth my energy to argue with them. You know, uh, it's just like life goes on. You know, you, you keep doing better for yourself to get to a better place. You know, it's crazy, man. You know, you, 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 these little arguments you have with people and petty things to prove your point online or on Instagram, I see people always trying to prove their point for this and that. That doesn't even matter. You're not going to change somebody's mind on the internet. You're not. People like that debate on the internet. You know how much time you're wasting? I used to do stuff like that. But guess what? You're taking time away from yourself being great. Because after that, you've exerted so much energy and brain power trying to you know, win an argument on Facebook or on Instagram or in the shade room comments that, you know what? You just use the energy we're going to use to like read a book or, you know, watch, watch an inspirational video or something like that, that, that might push you further in the direction you need to be towards your goals. Okay. So when I say like protect your energy, that's what I mean. Like, don't let anybody, um, have you overexert yourself for something that's not going to benefit you anything in the end. When you win that little argument on uh, Facebook or shade, you know, shade room comments or something, what happens? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happens, okay? Nothing positive happens, okay? So you're not like, you're speaking to one person in there and it's just, why don't you make another shade room or make a really popular page and then you can influence more people with your message, you know, something like that. Do something really positive, you know what I mean? I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching this video. And I will check you guys in the next one. 
It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. Hit that like button for positivity, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.